Hey guys, it's Brant, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. And I clean shaved for this, and this is the first in series for the month of October. I'm going to be dressing up like each member of KISS. And as you can tell by the name, I'm dressing up like Gene Simmons. And the reference I'm going to use, I'm doing this in honor of the solo albums. And the reference I'm going to be using is the Gene Simmons 1978 um solo album. And so that's what I'm going to do. I've, I've only ever put Gene's makeup on one time in my whole life before today. Now, this is not going to be a tutorial because I might end up looking like a hot mess by the time I'm done with this. Uh, but I have my camera set up behind me. That's why you see my head here. And this is a mirror in front of me. I have some stuff here in front of me. I have a couple lamps on either side of me to give a good bright face. So just a little bit of what I'm going to be using is, um, and where I got it, is I've got some, uh, I got this at Walmart. It, it is uh, grease paint, um, which is what KISS uses. They use grease paint. So that is white. And it's 98 cents at Walmart. Here's some black grease paint. And um, that's at Walmart as well. So um, another thing I'm going to be using is Q-tips. And Q-tips are be used once I put the white face on and you kind of draw out a reference. You take the Q-tips and you'll clean out the inside. And I'll be using a small little black, small brush to be drawing in the black. And a little bit wider brush to put in some of the black or white if need be. Um, most likely I'll use this on some of the white, maybe the black powder brush, which I'm, like I said, I'm going to end up needing some powder. And then some other Q-tips uh, and some things to wipe my hands down. So the first thing you do is you want to be clean shaven or whatever if you want not. And you want to start uh, with a clean face, a shaven face, wash your face. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glasses off and I'm blind as a bat, y'all. So I'm going to be leaning in and hopefully my big fat head don't get in too much of the way. I'll try to come over as much as I can. Um, but what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to come in white all along my face, all up on, on, on the top, and not so much in the middle because there'll be a little widow's peak there, and I'm going to just basically come around, down my nose, around my eyes, around the bottom part of my eyes, because uh, I'll have to have room to draw in the bat wings. I said, never done, Gene, but maybe once before, over 20 years ago, so let's get started. And I don't know how this makeup's going to work. This makeup may work like crap. And I may not end up looking, Gene may end up looking like crap. And for the other videos, I may have to do something a little different. But here we go. I'm on time lapse some of this if I'm not talking. Um, I'm on time lapse some of this so you can see it moving in fast motion. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to leave this on until I, my glasses on, until I get up to my eyes. I watched a tutorial on Gene, and he said when you get along your lips, he kind of closes his lips in like this and goes around them. talked about when you're applying the makeup you want to apply it as smooth a coat as possible kind of push the makeup around on your face So now I'm going to take my glasses off so I can uh, take my glasses off so I can actually see what I'm doing. I'm going to have to get really close, guys. Sorry, my head gets in the way.
Okay, at this point, it's probably okay to clean your hands off. Um, I'm looking to see, I'm gonna pick the mirror up here, and look to see if I see any, um, if I see any thin spaces or anything like that. So guys, what I ended up getting uh, is uh, Johnson's baby powder. We used to have, it's Johnson's aloe vitamin C, it's just powder. So this is what I ended up getting um, to, and I just put some in a bowl, little serving thing that we have, and uh, powder brush. So I'm just gonna, according to Gene, Uncle Gene, and what I've read with Paul, you just kind of brush this on I'm gonna press it in. And it's gonna get everywhere because it's powder man. I wanna get rid of all that sheen. You know, get this powder set. Did you ever think? One day you'd turn on the In My Head video and I'd be putting on Kiss Makeup. I'll tell you, I never thought I would be. Now what Gene said he'd do at this point is he would um, take a pencil and use it to draw reference marks and then take a Q-tip and clean it out. So that's what I'm gonna try to do now. I'm gonna try to stay out of the way as much as I can, guys. I'm gonna move this mirror in where I can see it a little better. And hopefully you guys can still see me in that. Um, and so that way, hopefully, by doing this, I can see and you can see, okay? If I get in your way, I'm sorry, getting your way. But here we go. All right, he would reference his widow's peak, at the bridge of his nose, his widow's peak. The tip would be right about right, right there. You put a tip about right there. You bring that widow's peak up to about right here. my best work but so it's harder than it looks people harder than it looks all right so now supposedly what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take a q-tip and clean out all of the white that is everywhere else and like I said this is not the greatest job but hey you know it's a fun way to spend a Wednesday night and there go the dogs so, let's see if this cleans the way we think it's going to. I've got 
some other ones here I'm going to try. These are actually like something that you'd use to smear um, um, eyeshadow with. So I'm going to try that. Those actually pick up. Okay. Alright. So now let's do down in this area here. In the video I watched, Gene was just going through Q-tips like left and right. If it would make more sense to take the white off with something else. And take it off with um, Instead of painting the black lines. Okay, there's one side roughly done. Gone through uh, that many Q-tips to do it. So now I've got to switch to my right hand, which I'm not as good with my right hand. But I switched my right hand to do this part said hopefully you guys are, are seeing I never said it, it was going to be good but I did say it'd be entertaining That may be a stretch, right? And somebody asked me if I was going to be playing KISS music while I was doing this. I told them Shoot, no. I want Kiss still in my royalties, still in my monetization. Got to fix that corner back here. I've lost my little um, lost one of my little wings. You're basically just pushing this grease paint around. At this point in time, I think I'm going to kind of maybe put a little bit more powder on because I see that the powder has kind of sunk in a little. So I know the powder is messy as crap, but I think I'm going to put a little bit more.
All right, so next thing we're gonna start with this brush here. And according to Jean, just kind of take it and you kind of get it down in the paint. I don't know how this is gonna start doing until I start painting with it. So you should twist it, get along the outside, and then let's see what happens. Props to Kiss for all these years because this is harder than it looks. I think I'm going to switch over to a fatter brush. Put down a little more makeup. I'm looking forward to doing Paul next time. Because I think Paul's going to be relatively simpler, simple. Paul is going to be a star, eyeliner, red lipstick. And you look, if you look at Paul, his star isn't perfect. It's not a perfect, uh, not a perfect star. Now, I gotta try to do this crap with my right hand, and I suck right-handed, and so hopefully you guys will be able to see around my fat head. My one side's definitely better than the other because, um, well, I'm left-handed and I switched. So this side's better than this side. So let's do the widow's peak and then the lips. typically they'll powder this too. Alright, 